Hi, I'm Reb Myron, and today I'm going to be talking about A Course in Miracles, Lesson 294. My body is a wholly neutral thing. I am a son of God. And can I be another thing as well? Did God create the mortal and corruptible? What use has God's beloved son for what must die? And yet a neutral thing does not see death for thoughts of fear are not invested there, nor is a mockery of love bestowed upon it. Its neutrality protects it while it has a use and afterwards without a purpose, it is laid aside. It is not sick nor old nor hurt. It is but functionless, unneeded, and cast off. Let me not see it more than this today, of service for a while and fit to serve, to keep its usefulness while it can serve, and then to be replaced for greater good. My body, Father, cannot be your son, and what is not created cannot be sinful or sinless, neither good nor bad. Let me then use this dream to help your plan that we awaken from all dreams we made. Jesus tells us many times in the course that we are not these bodies, nor are we in these bodies. These bodies are not real. They're just images we have made. They are neutral in that not being real, they cannot be good or bad. It's how we use them that determines what they are to us. If I use this body to use others or to hurt others, it becomes a way to reinforce separation and keep the illusion going. If I use it to extend loving kindness, then it's helpful in awakening us. The main purpose of the body is to prove, at least for us, <laughs> from the ego perspective, the main purpose of the body is to prove that we are not the son of God, that we are not the self. After all, how could we be all that the Course promises if we're these frail and weak bodies made to die? If we further believe that God created us as bodies, we can hardly see God as loving us. Another way we use the body for the ego's purposes is to punish ourselves for our perceived sins through pain and sickness. Once we accept that the body is a neutral neutral event and not anything of itself, it is interesting to see how we misuse it. We tend to either glorify or vilify the body. We glorify it as we strive relentlessly to keep it young and beautiful, even though this is doomed to fail. Another way we do this is to adorn it with beautiful things. Even in death, we worship the body spending absurd amounts of money to dress it up and bury it in expensive boxes. We then visit the body, bringing it flowers. With all this attention placed on the body, we distract ourselves from the mind. But once we accept the truth about the body, we can use it in a different way. In fact, the body can now be used to bring us back to the mind, the only thing that can be healed. When my body is sick or suffering, I look to the mind to see what belief needs to be corrected. When I notice that I'm placing undue emphasis on the body, how it looks, if it's the right size, what others think of it, I know that my mind needs correction. The body, like all other images we have made, can serve the purpose of bringing us back to reality if that's how we want to use it. Whatever I seem to be experiencing in the body is actually what I'm choosing with the mind. Bodies cannot on their own sin, cannot suffer, cannot attack. It is our desire for these things that is the cause of what the body seems to do, what it seems to be. This is a good lesson. Lots of valuable information. Thanks for being here with me today. I'll see you tomorrow.